subject I feel were very important and we've talked about you know, quite a bit, but today a topic which is a little unusual or different, which is heart disease and uh, COVID-19 uh, infection. We talk a lot about the respiratory uh, manifestations and illness uh, with uh, company COVID, very, very important. Obviously that's how the disease symptoms start. But the disease is, uh, has uh, uh, protein manifestations and is uh, uh, pretty well uh, located ubiquitously all over the body. So it can have uh, effects all over um, our, our, medic our body and our uh, different organ systems. The heart is particularly susceptible because it causes an inflammatory reaction in general. It can cause uh, a thing called uh, myocarditis, which is an inflammation of the heart uh, lining itself, uh, the heart muscle itself. Sometimes uh, suspected that it causes a, um, an increase in oxygen demand of the heart causing uh, a entity called demand ischemia. It just means that the heart is working so hard that it's using uh, so much oxygen that it causes the heart uh, to have a, um, a lack of oxygen that causes a release of some enzymes that are similar to the enzymes that are released during a heart attack. Not a heart attack, but it is something that's significant be because it is uh, demanding a lot of work and oxygen consumption uh, from the heart. Uh, a little different than regular coronary artery disease, uh, but certainly on that spectrum of uh, needing oxygen and uh, causing a demand of more oxygen causing uh, ischemia. There are uh, other, effort, other things that cause uh, the heart to work very hard, which is that the pulmonary disease, the lung disease itself, sometimes uh, causes a increase in pressure that the heart has to pump against and it causes a, a heart failure that is related to the increased resistance in the lung tissue itself. Uh, so that, that actually can decompensate the heart, uh, cause a certain type of heart failure. Certainly there are, are issues in people who have already have heart disease or coronary artery disease who have heart failure, who had uh, a cardiomyopathy as it's called. Uh, so these things are easily decompensated during uh, a, a course of significant or severe illness with uh, COVID-19. These uh, manifestations are not common uh, and uh, thankfully so uncommon uh, in most of the population. We always worry about people who are at high risk and uh, will uh, definitely look uh, to prevent any heart injury in anyone who has a serious illness related to COVID-19.